Yo, what up guys, how's it going? Kermode here. In this video, I wanna take a look at the new drum bus tool in Ableton 10. This actually turned out to be probably my favorite update of Ableton. Uh, everything else in 10 wasn't the biggest deal to me, except for drum bus. Now that I've been using it for a little bit, uh, it's really cool. You can do some insane things with it. It can beef the shit out of your sounds. Um, I just want to quickly look at everything. So over here you have this drive knob and this is going to drive the input of the sound which is going to affect the overall character and how it's adding harmonics to the sound. And then the wave shaping after the input drive uh, is right below it. You have soft, medium and hard which is going to change the overall characteristic and tonality. So our dry signal, some soft drive. Even the medium and hard one there doesn't sound over the top. You have this trim so you can compensate the gain after you just added a bunch of gain. Already beefing up our sound without it. Thin with it. Thick. You have this compressor here which allows you to compress the sound before the input signal, uh, which is kind of nice and allows you to not hit the distortion with these like big peaks out of nowhere. It has some makeup involved though, so I personally don't really like it. Um, I would rather just compress it myself with a compressor beforehand. Uh, you have this crunch knob which is going to add distortion. One problem with the crunch knob though is it has, we clearly lost some highs there, and that's because of the dampening underneath here. So if you're gonna add some crunch, be wary of that, um, but it can be useful if the crunch added too much highs into your sound. You also have this transient knob here, which is really cool, where if you set it to the right, it kind of almost de-emphasizes the transients by turning up the body of the sound. or it tightens it and makes the sound more transient focused. It kind of turns down the body of the sound. So it's not really your typical transient designer, but it's really cool. Like if I had too much room noise. And I want to tighten up my loop. Already f like sounds fucking phenomenal. Again, this added two decibels of gain, so we'll, we'll compensate after to make it the same, but absolutely love it. Now this boom knob is really cool. Um, I don't wanna use it on like a tablet loop like this, but what it does is it essentially allows you to synthesize a note into your sound. So for example, right now it's tuned to a G, 49 hertz. Um, and you notice if you're actually kind of off of a note a little bit, if you click it, it tunes it perfectly. So we're at a low E, we add a boom. It's gonna add that sub into the sound. And then the decay is how long that boom is actually resonating in there. So for those of you in headphones, it might be easier to hear it if it's 90. Tighten the decay. So I actually added some low end sub and boom into our tablas, which You know what, it even worked with our tabla. Click that, tune it so it's right on point. You can hit the little headphone button to hear what you're doing. That's what we're adding in. It makes the sound just more even, more rich, love it. And you got your output gain. So I'm gonna bring it down to minus two because that's what we were peaking at approximately without this. Let's try that again. So we're peaking at minus 2.3. I'm gonna bring this down to minus 2.3. So this is our new tabla loop. Beefy, sexy, warm, clean, without it. Ugh, thin, pathetic, disgusting, horrible, awful loop. Dry wet. Man, this thing is underrated. Like seriously, I could have done without the Ableton 10 update Personally, like I, I, I'm still writing music in nine because I'm more comfortable on it and I still like it. Um, but goddamn, drum bus is a beast. It's so clean. Um, man, I love it. I haven't even tried it on sounds besides drums yet. I'm sure it's phenomenal. I'm probably gonna start putting this on everything. Um, maybe you shouldn't do that if you're not too comfortable with it. 
don't listen to me about that, but maybe you should if you like it. Um, yeah, there we go. Drum bus, unreal. Start to finish guide. That's it. Simple, easy, incredible. So thanks again, guys. My name's Komodi. This is Drum Bus in Ableton 10. It's super good, and I hope you guys use it more. Thanks again, guys. Peace.